Brooks, your trusted realtor for real estate of the Carolinas. Welcome to my channel. Now, because you're here, I assume you are in the market to invest, buy, or sell property. My contact information is right up here. <laughs> I'd love to hear from you. Now, today's topic is what is the difference in pre-qualification and pre-approval? Now, that is that is a question many people ask because you get the letter and you're super excited about it, but uh, there's a big difference. And most buyers have heard that they need to be pre-qualified or be pre-approved for a mortgage if they're looking to buy property. So I've had people call me with their pre-qual letter saying that they want to see houses and it's not as easy. Like, yeah, <sighs> let me see if I could break that down for you because the two words are used interchangeably, uh, but there are important differences that you have got to understand when you are in the market to buy a house. Plus one word makes you very attractive to sellers. Well, you know, the other word kind of makes the sellers think for a while before they decide to pull their house off of the market. So, um, I hope you understand. Now, being pre-qualified is the first step in the loan application process, right? So it's, uh, you call the lender and you probably stated to the lender all your financials, or maybe you got online at one of the loan depots and you typed in all of the information that you can recall, right? So the lender basically gives you what we would call like a ballpark kind of roundabout uh, qualification based on all the information that you stated. That's why they say stated income. It's based on the information that you stated and you'll get a approval according to that. But remember, it's just information that you stated, you know? Um, when you are trying to get pre-approved for a loan, it's a little more in depth than that. Like you really, they really hone in on all your financials. Um, and it's very important for you to be as honest as you can um, in, in giving them your financials. So with the pre-qualification, nothing has been verified yet. Nothing has been verified. You know, everything is just according to what you said. Now, let's take a look at being pre-approved. Now, in order to be pre-approved, they're gonna dig into your financials. You must complete an official mortgage application. You'll need proof of assets, income, good credit, and hey, what's good credit today, right? <laughs> that number always changes. Right now it's 620 or higher. They're also gonna look at your employment and uh, they're gonna ask for other types of documents. This is to help you get the mortgage. So the more information you give them, the more financially attractive you'll be. So give, 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 give them the 401k info, um, the side hustle, tell them about the side hustle. You know, um, hopefully you're paying taxes on that and the mattress money. <laughs> Let's not forget the mattress money. I know people always talk about the mattress money. That's an old joke. You know, that's money that you keep set aside in a special place for situations. You know, if you think that the mattress money is going to make you more financially attractive, you probably want to go ahead and deposit that money about two months before you even apply for the mortgage. Look, they're going to perform an extensive financial background check. So you don't wanna dump a big deposit in your account in the middle of the process. Then you'll have to explain where the money came from. You know, um, 
my mom was big on saying, oh, I got a big bonus coming. When I get my bonus, I'm going to put some money in your account. And it's always a 10000 5000 Like, if I was in the process of buying a home, I would have to explain that. So if somebody's talking about giving you money when they get their bonus, ask them, can you go ahead and deposit that now? <laughs> or maybe you can wait a while before you apply for a loan. But based on all the information that you gave them and having them do a thorough background financial check, they're going to give you what is called a commitment letter, okay, with the exact loan amount. Most agents require that pre-approval letter before they even start showing houses. Now, this doesn't mean that you can't call an agent before you have been pre-approved. In fact, I encourage it. Because most of us have lenders on our team or in-house that we prefer to work with. But that's not to say you have to use our lender. You could use any lender, but it makes the process seamless and more enjoyable, you know? So, you know, you'll have to give that letter to your real estate agent and you can start looking for homes in your price range. Um, it also gives you an advantage when negotiating with sellers, you know, I'm sure a seller will appreciate the fact that you have done the work and you are ready to make an attractive offer rather than wait for you to finish that process. So I hope this helps um, to recap. Um, a pre-qualification is stated information that you told a lender or a computer and they kind of gave you, like I said, a ballpark or a bird's eye view of um, what you qualify for based on what you said. And a pre-approval means that everything that you said has been verified. Everything has been verified. And um, they did an extensive financial background check and you look really good and that you are trustworthy and it is time for us to start looking for a house for you. Um, and you have that conditional commitment letter in writing. So I hope this helps. I'm Tanya Stokes. Um, if you wanna reach me, 704-884-5882 is my number, or send me an email at info at We'll talk soon. Bye.